hey guys uh, so it's been a while since i made this video uh, so i was busy with work and other engagements uh, so what i want to talk to you about is uh, ingest action right so splunk as you might know um, uh, have come up with a new uh, concept called ingest action right so what it is all about is uh, filtering data at your source uh, before it hits your indexes right uh, so the benefits is uh, you can save on your license cost and uh, you can route to different um, destinations so uh, i'll give you a use case where let's say you are ingesting uh, dns data all right uh, and then uh, as you might know dns is a very uh, noisy data source and then uh, each day it, it can actually generate like terabytes of data all right so you can uh, use ingest action to route uh, data to uh, data lake or s3 or any kind of uh, slow or cheap storage uh, and then you can leave all your required data on Splunk itself right so this is an answer to Kribble um, um, so ingest action is still uh, pretty new so it came out with Splunk 9 if I'm not mistaken right uh, so you can go to settings and you'll find ingest action here right uh, so uh, I will not tell it is as mature as Kribble but because you could do a lot of fancy things with Kribble but then uh, this is a good start uh, with Splunk right you don't have to rely on a third party uh, you can use uh, Splunk's intercession to get some basic work done right and I'm pretty sure eventually um, or in the next releases uh, in the next coming releases they will uh, add more features to intercession so that uh, you don't have to rely on any third party like Rubble to get this work done but that said um, Kribble is a, also a wonderful software um, you could do a lot of fancy routing with it but then um, honestly uh, like it is a, a, a tool for a job right uh, it depends on what job do you are, do you are doing uh, and then uh, sometimes Kribble will work for you and sometimes you just can use in this section right uh, so the way it works is uh, I have a setup here right uh, so I'm using a program called flog right uh, so what flog does is it creates fake data right i will uh, show you what flog is all about towards the end of the video uh, right so all it is doing is this is an all-in-one and my uh, laptop is sending fake data to flog right uh, so this is uh, apache data getting sent to flog every minute right so right uh, so we can do some pretty basic routing here uh, so all you have to do is click on ingest action right uh, click on new rule set right uh, we can give it a random name random name right uh, rule set. right doesn't matter right uh, and then uh, my uh, data is called so uh, the way it works is you can go to go to your index uh, so this splunk is already ingesting data all right uh, this is our all in one uh, so if we can do apache uh, so let's see what the source step is uh, source step is uh, access common right so uh, you can do this on your heavy folder let's say if you have a multi-site cluster or whatever and then uh, you want to do uh, just as you do it on your heavy folder right uh, and then on your heavy you can do the routing right so this is our all in one so i'm doing it on my search it right uh, so now i have put in my uh, source type so i can click on samples right so i can see the data here so now i can click on add row all right so what i'm going to do is uh, just for the uh, sake of this video i have a use case where i want to uh, hash out these usernames for whatever reason i don't want my SOC team to know all my uh, Apache usernames right uh, so all I have to do is click on add rules uh, filter using regular expression right uh, and then uh, no uh, not this one uh, hold on add rule 
yeah filter using uh, mask with regular expression right uh, so my uh, use case for now is masking this right uh, so what i'll do is i have to enter a, a regular expression to match the username right uh, so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to enter like this right uh, and then uh, i want to replace it like the slash one and then uh, confidential right uh, so now like you can see the data actually got masked and this username is got replaced by confidential so i'll just explain what is happening here uh, so let us take this data right uh, and let's go to regex on on right uh, so here if we put in this uh, regular expression right uh, and then if we put in the actual data uh, let's say we put in this data uh, it, it is actually showing okay uh, so let me just explain what what this is all about we are matching the uh, the first part right the first IP part and then there is a space the IP part then there is a space and then there is a hyphen and then there is a space again so this is how you write the regular expression and then we are matching the uh, second part right uh, and then how you have to write this replace is you have to like it's written here you have to use slash one and slash two so basically what slash one means is it is the uh, first group all right so this is group one and this is group two so slash one and then we type in the uh, the term that we have to hash out with all right uh, so i'll explain uh, let me just show you what happens if I don't put slash one here right uh, if I don't put slash one everything gets replaced by confidential right so all, all it is saying is slash one so that is group one so uh, it is saying uh, put the first captured group and then type confidential right uh, so that is how uh, regular expression is working here and then you can just click on save right um, once you click on save uh, uh, so let me show you what have happened in the background so it created uh, so it added uh, the rule set to the uh, the original props conf like access common rule set uh, it added a transforms uh, conf reference here right uh, and then inside the transforms conf it actually wrote your uh, original transforms uh, for you right uh, so it is a replace underscore raw match this pattern and replace with slash confidential right earlier we have to write it ourselves and then restart the heavy like 10 times get it on a trial and error basis and things like that but right now uh, with just action we can just do it through the ui right okay so this part is done now i have another use case where uh, i want to send the same set of data uh, so now remember uh, this data is flowing live right so the, uh, this data is actually uh, uh, coming to index is equal to apache right now what i want to do is i want to send some of this data to another index right so what i do is i add another rule right i want to send like set index right so this is another feature of uh, ingest action right uh, click on here uh, i can click on regular expression now my use case is any line of data without a username right uh, so that is like uh, data having no usernames for whatever reason there is no username like um, not showing here right uh, so i want to route it to a different uh, index right uh, so all i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to do a full uh, match right uh, so this time i don't have to do a capture group so this like earlier uh, start slashes um, match match uh, it's like match till here and then whichever line which doesn't have a username right uh, so what happens is uh, I, w I have to tell uh, route it to apache underscore uh, access right so now we can actually see some of these lines are actually going to index is equal to apache access right it got uh, rooted again some of them are, are confidential the username got uh, uh, hashed out and some of these lines 
are getting routed to a different index right uh, that's it uh, so we just click on apply and save right uh, the rules that have been created and that's it there is nothing else you have to do uh, so there's a few architectural things that you have to keep in mind if you're doing this you have to uh, on a multi-site cluster or a distributed environment you do it on your heavy right uh, or you have an option to deploy right uh, so you can actually uh, copy this right you can copy this and you can put it on your deployment server or whatever and push it to your heavy folders um, if you have like multiple heavy folders ingesting data whatever you all kinds of fancy uh, settings you can do from here right uh, so there's an export option here so that's it uh, so let's go back to our data uh, right index is equal to apache uh, right uh, and now i'm going to put uh, last uh, okay let me search again uh, so i know my data comes in at the top of the minute right uh, so new data comes in at top of the minute and like I, I, we can see here uh, the data got masked all right uh, so the new data that is coming in is getting masked and the old data is actually unmasked because uh, masking is a uh, index time uh, activity all right so it doesn't replace what is already indexed right it only replaces what uh, new data that is coming in right uh, so we are on the top of the minute i can see new data again coming in right uh, so we have new data again and all this data is masked right uh, now if i do access uh, access apache access right uh, so we can see a uh, new data here as well right it was the same data right uh, earlier it was going to the single index now we can route it to different indexes all right um, so yeah that is uh, ingest action uh, so there's other um, things that you could do like uh, route to s3 right you can choose new destination uh, type in your s3 uh, endpoint right and then you could route it there all right uh, i haven't uh, set up my s3 yet uh, I have to set up a test S3 and maybe I'll do a video on how this is being done but it's pretty straightforward you just have to create your destination first go to uh, the rule set uh, like edit the rule set let's just say we can edit the rule set and then route to destination all right uh, once you click on route to destination it will actually give you the S3 option here as well you just have to put in your regex right match whatever pattern and then route it to S3 right uh, straight out from splunk uh, splunk heavy folder it will go to s3 right uh, so where so i've seen uh, real good use cases where uh, machine transactions or whatever data like especially dns data on a networking side uh, it is very important that we keep all the dns data um, for investigations if you have an incident but then it's also expensive to keep it on Splunk right because um, be, uh, because of the storage right so it's always better uh, if you have high volume uh, very noisy data sources you can use in just action to no dump it to S3 right and when you want to search it you can actually access it from S3 alright uh, same thing we can do it for if you have any data like uh, des uh, destinations we can add it and then we can do it like that right so this is um, basically ingest action alright uh, like I said it is a new feature that came out in Splunk uh, and I'm pretty sure with the next releases um, this options will get evolved and we'll begin start using more uh, features right much similar to what we have for cribble right uh, one last thing what i was uh, using for generating this data it is something called uh, flog all right uh, so flog is a uh, logging uh, generator tool so it is actually uh, hosted in um, hosted in github right uh, i will leave that uh, link on the uh, description if you are interested uh, so what it what this does is uh, let's say you want to test some uh, test your installation or, or you want you want to play with some random data right all you have to do is download this 
uh, application called Flog from GitHub. Right, uh, it is a very easy uh, setup. Right, all you have to do is like run this command and it will generate like a uh, like logs for you. Right, so this uh, application can actually generate like terabytes of logs in minutes. Right, if you really want to test your environment, right. So I would exercise caution when I use this, but uh, yeah, this is um, uh, the program that I was using earlier. It does have different uh, formats like Apache Common, Combined, Error, uh, JSON, RFC, whatever, right? So if you want to do investigation or if you want to uh, learn SPL, this is somewhere that you can start. Of course, Splunk has its own uh, tool that we use like uh, Evangen. Uh, but then this is uh, if you want to test your network or something with tons of data flowing or if you want to test your data like solution or something then you can actually uh, use this program so it's hosted in github uh, and uh, yeah uh, so next time i'll try to uh, configure my s3 right and i'll show you how ingest action work with uh, routing to an s3 destination okay so that is all for now so we'll speak again later